Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm altering a composition book. And this is just a standard composition book that you can find almost anywhere. I'm using the beautiful Graphic 45 Mon Amour collection. This is a beautiful collection. I have the journaling and ephemera cards here, and I'm showing you both sides. One of the sides is muted, and um, it's great for journaling. And these are the four by six and three by four cards that come with them. This here is probably my favorite all, out of all of them. And I don't have the full collection, but I am showing you a few pieces that I'll be using on my book today. I love both sides of these. And I'm also using a piece from the primer collection because I didn't have another piece that matched. So I'm going to prep my composition book and I'm using a regular nail file going around the edges and edging off the, the glossy shine that's on them. This will give it some grip for the ink to stick to. So here's my papers cut out. The front and back cover are nine and three quarters by six and 13 sixteenths. And the inside pieces are nine and three quarters by seven and a quarter. And the one side of the composition book is rounded. So I'm matching my papers with that by using my We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile in the one quarter inch. And now I'm going to distress all the papers with black soot distress ink. And I don't show all this on camera, but I did go around it twice because I really wanted that black soot to really stand out. Now I'm using some black soot distress paint and going around my edges. And that's why I went ahead and roughed them up so this paint would stick to it. I'm also wiping it off for any of the part that does not stick. And I will take my heat gun to help dry it quickly. You will end up seeing the edges of it. So you want to ink them. You want to ink your composition book or paint it. And you can take your ink pad directly to it as well. So here's some of the leftover from the front cover that I cut out. I'm fussy cutting some of these diamond shapes to use on my book as well. I will also distress the edges of those with black soot. So I cut out several pieces, but I wasn't sure what I was going to use. And I'm pulling out the Spellbinders Labels 40 die. I'm using the second from the largest die in that collection and deciding what I wanted to cut out. So I'm using one of the journaling cards. And I'm going to run that through my Sizzix Big Shot, but first I'm using some lightweight chipboard and cutting out two pieces of that same label because I wanted to give that label some dimension when I add it to my book. The Spellbinders um, cut so easily in the Big Shot. So I taped down my, my die this time because I didn't want it moving being that I want to, wanted a specific part of the design cut out. So now I'm going to adhere all of those together, but I will distress the edges of the um, journaling card with black soot ink, distress ink, and then the edge of my chipboard with the distress paint as well, because you do see a little bit of it. So now it has a black edge to it, which looks a little bit more finished. So now I'm using some electrical tape against the edge where the covers meet the paper. And that's just because you will see a little bit of that edge. So I wanted it to be black. You could also use Sharpie marker if you wanted. I'm pulling out the Angel Craft Podge and it comes with a brush, but I'm going to use my own brush with it. This is a great adhesive to use. It's very strong. So I'm just adding a nice layer onto it and placing it on my book. And then I do use a paper towel to just kind of press around the edges. And if there's any edges sticking up, I purposely pull on the edges to see if they're sticking up. If they are, you just want to add a little bit more of the craft podge behind it. And I'll do that for both the inside and outside of my book. Here's some of the eight by eight and six by six collection. And I'm using the Sizzix Bigs die. It's called Love Labels. And I'm using the six by six papers and cutting out several at one time. 
I'm cutting from the banner shape. It comes with um, several banners and tabs in it. This is a great die to have. So the big die will cut several papers at once. I think I did three there. Now I'm using another piece of the scrap paper to cut out a tab punch as well. This is a penny black die and it's the Envision die. It comes with the word imagine and dream and such a beautiful font. So I cut that out as well and I did back it on that same chipboard first and inked it with black soot as well. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue behind it and I will add it to my label on the front. And this will be the front centerpiece of my book. I'm pulling out some trim to use that I do adhere down, but in the end, I ended up ripping it back up. I love this trim. I got it from Hobby Lobby, but I just thought it was too bulky for the book once I had it down. So although I am adding it, I just wanted to show you that I changed my mind and ripped it back up for another trim instead. So I'm tearing out the first and last page of that book because it did get a little bit of ink on it. And now I'm just adhering down that tab punch from that Sizzix die. Again, that was using the 6x6 six six collection. So here's the fussy cut diamonds that I cut out from the same collection. I'm going to adhere two of them directly to the paper. And the third one in the middle, I wanted to give it dimension. So I add two layers of that lightweight chipboard to it. That way it stands off the page just slightly. I purposely offset the diamonds so they did not match with the pattern paper that was on the front. I wanted them to stand out just a little bit. So I was really happy with how that turned out. And now I'm adding some of the banners that are going to go behind my label on the front. And before I decided I didn't want this trim, I added some flat back pearl. So again, you'll see me rip that up here. I can use that for another project. And, um, I added also a little fussy cut butterfly. I'm sorry that it's a little bit out of focus. It'll be back in focus in just a moment. I adhered the banners to the back of that label. And now I'm adding just a little bit of lace trim that I had in my stash. I'm using some Fabri-Tac to adhere that down. So now I ripped that up and added a smaller trim to it, a braided trim. I'm using the craft angel craft tape in the one half inch because I want a strong adhesive behind my label. I do add a little bit of wet adhesive as well to go around the edges. And now I'm going to place that down. And I finish off the book with adding some beautiful wild orchid craft flowers to it and a few of the leaves as well. I will link all the products used in the description box below. I hope you stop by Cut at Home's blog and all of the information will be listed there as well as detailed photos. So I'll let you sit back and finish watching the embellishing. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. Thanks so much for watching.